what's up guys i'm back again with another video guys this time it's a dollar tree haul guys i couldn't show you everything that i had got in the haul because i had to give away uh, i gave my mother her mother's day stuff i to start off by saying happy mother's day to all you guys all the ladies out there and um wish many 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 more mother's day Mother days, brother. So, uh, yeah, guys, I had some stuff for my mother, but I gave them away to her. So, couldn't show you in this haul. I was too lazy to put it up beforehand. So, y'all know how that is, man. I was just tired. All right. <laughs> All right. So, guys, no further ado, man. Let's jump into what little stuff that I got. All right. Got a little stuff. I ain't got a whole lot of stuff. I got enough to. Got some Clorox, guys. Y'all know the dollar Clorox. I left that in the kitchen. Okay, start off with the Clorox. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I got some medium gray eggs. Got so I get all my eggs out of Dollar Tree. Even though I don't eat eggs or breakfast or none of that. I just keep them around in case... Um, my uh, girlfriend wanted to bake a cake or some brownies or, you know, whatever, some cookies or something, you know. And uh, I just like keeps the eggs in the house, you know. That lasts more, a lot of time to get thrown away, you know, because unless you bake something, you know. Other than that, I don't eat no breakfast, man. I'm not a breakfast eater. You know what I'm saying? I hate breakfast, man. <laughs> I don't know why, man, but I hate breakfast food. I don't like no breakfast, man. I'm just, uh, basically, I eat one time a day, and that's it, man. I don't do a whole lot in there, sir, eating it. All right, guys, moving on here. I picked up some of this. Uh, I got some car wash. They got that car wash back in there, guys. I guess they bring that back for the summer months. Uh, this is the car wash and wax. My driver's choice. I may do another review on it again. Yeah, probably will. This is formulated with natural carnauba wax. This is a little different. This is the deep cleaning, ultimate shine and protection. Yeah, this is the carnauba wax type one here, guys. This one is a little bit different from what they had before. Head out to your Dollar Tree. Pick it up, man. I got a lot of detailing to supplies I'm going to come back and do. I uh, picked them up right out of the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to use them to detail cars and stuff, man. You can get a lot of detailing products right out of the Dollar Tree. Good supplies, man. All right, moving on. I picked up some parsley flakes. Guys, y'all know I like to cook a little bit. Gotta have some season around me. Can't be half that with no seasons. All right, food don't taste right. <laughs> All right, moving on, guys. Picked up another season, man. Some black pepper. Supreme tradition. All right. Moving on, I found this in there, guys. And this is some more season. Oh, forgot about this French fry seasoning right here, guys. Let's season up them fries, man. I found this in there one, but two cans left. So I got them come and make some nachos. Home style select nacho cheese sauce. I was gonna make. I would either. I would try these on some nachos, or I, I had a box and one day I can pop this old, heat it up real nice and warm, and um, get some steak them. Uh, you can't try them cross cheese steak. I don't know how to turn it out, guy. I'm just saying, uh, um. Make some cheese sticks out of them, man. I don't know how that how that'll be though. No, I'm just talking right now, so I can't can't really say. Alright, moving on guys. I picked up some of the Russell Stouffer's candy right here. Caramel candy. This some good candy right here, guys. If you ain't never had this candy before, I recommend you try this candy out. This candy is amazingly good, boy. That's some good stuff right there. On the downside to it, man, I feel like they should have put, they should have put some, like some little fine peanuts or something in there. Um, 
It's like you could taste a little bit, but it's like they ain't quite got enough. They ain't quite got enough of something in there, you know, that I'm gonna put a few more little nuts, a few more little little peanuts or something. They could have did better with the putting some nuts in the middle, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the only downside to it. It tastes mostly like caramel, you know? Just plain old caramel with nothing else in the middle. That's what it tastes like. You know? All right, moving on here, guys. Uh, girlfriend picked up some Colgate. Colgate. I told her she loved Colgate. I told her I don't mess with Colgate because look here, guys. They give you such these little bitty tubes. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. And to me personally, she'll just keep buying them little bit of tools. Uh, we brush our teeth at least twice a day, you know what I'm saying? And um, I ain't got time to keep buying toothpaste right study. And these little bit of tools like these right here, man, you go through these in no time. You know, I'm, I'm serious, man. When you brush your teeth two times a day, these little bit of tools like this just don't last long. So I use the Ultra Bright. They give you a big tool. And that's what I need, like I told you guys, before I brush my teeth twice a day. So, you know, like twice a day is enough, man. You do, you brush your teeth more than twice, your gums and all that stuff start getting sore and start bleeding and stuff. So, because I use medium gristle, medium bristle toothbrush too. So, my, I like my toothbrush kind of firm. So, uh, you know, I just brush mine twice a day and uh, that's good enough for me. Um, you do a thing to more than that. Be careful, man. You can make your gums and all that good stuff sore. I've done it before. And when your gums get sore, that crap hurt. <laughs> hurt bad. You want to do it two times a day is enough for brushing your teeth. If you feel the need to do more, just use the mouthwash. Just switch around, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to put a whole lot of pressure on your teeth. All right, guys. Moving on here. Uh, Y'all know I'm good for it. Picked up some more season, zesty season salt. This is a good strong season right here, guys. Good stuff right there. Good stuff right there. Don't use a lot of season salt, but you know it's good to have to season certain foods. Like if you're cooking, oh, uh, let's say you cook some steak. Put a little bit of this. Not a lot. It's a little bit to get some flavor on some steaks or something like that. A little bit on some chicken or something. Give it a little season. I don't use a lot. I don't really. I don't eat salt. Period. I'm telling you guys, that thing right there lasts me probably, probably two years. You know, I I rarely eat with salt. I don't mess with no salt. I don't want to run my blood pressure up and all that kind of crap. And got time for bad health, man. I don't eat no salt and no pork. All right. <laughs> Try to exercise too, man. Try to get in the exercise. No. Try to stay in shape, some man. That's what you gotta do. Alright, moving on guys. Uh y'all like what we talking about the teeth. Two pace stuff right then. Guy, y'all know I like that scrum stuff like this. That stuff to make water come out of your eye, man. That's what I like. That's all I mess with is gold scrum mouthwash right here. Y'all know when you switch your mouth around, peel the skin off a little bit. Water start to come out of your eyes a little bit. I like that scrum stuff. I ain't got time. I don't care. I smell. Stuff smell like mouth balls. No, but I don't bother me about that. I want something to clean my mouth good. It's all like you, man. It's all the kind of you right here. I don't mess with nothing. Else. That ain't worth my money. The kind, the blue kind, like this ain't even worth a dollar, man. All right, moving on. Get on that scrum stuff, man. Where the water come out of your ass. All right. <laughs> Couldn't leave that cool mint. And cinnamon mint, and breath fresh mint, and scope mint, and all that weak stuff alone, man. Get up on that good gold, strong, eye watering type. Something that really gonna get your mouth clean. Put it like this. Alright, moving on, guys. I picked up some more of these lights. I picked these up for my mom, and I'm gonna put these in her path. And these are got the 4th of July look. Or whatever it's supposed to be right here. I guess these are white. Blue. Whatever color they use. Hope they're white, dude. 
But they pretty cool. They're wrapped up like the Confederates or American flag or whatever it is. Y'all see that? Just gonna put them in the path, man. Light the path up when people turn in. So they won't hit the ditch. <laughs> Alright, moving on, guys. I know I'll be doing a little summer cooking on the grill. So I bought me one of these big spatulas for some barbecue. Put some hamburger up there, boy. Flip it over. Like that. <laughs> Nice special, heavy duty too, guys. Check it out. I saw it in Dollar Tree, man. It caught my eye. Couldn't believe it. I said, man, I just got to grab this spatula up. Boy, I like to have some heavy duty stuff around like this. Good stuff right here, man. Flip them burgers. All right. Moving on here, guys. I uh, picked up. Here's another one of the cheese. Nacho cheese dip. I'm going to make some dip. you. Like I told you guys, put it in cheese steak, see what it tastes like. Well, for try. I and my girlfriend picked up one of the scarves. Y'all know them, how y'all women wear them scarves and stuff around your braids and whatnot. She grabbed up one of them. All right, moving on. Some more of the Russell Stoker's candy right here. Other bag is right here. Like I told you guys, the only downside of that candy, to me, guys, it seemed like they should have put more peanuts, uh, nuts, uh, you know, something. It, it mostly tastes like caramel with nothing in the middle, you know. I want to taste something in the middle, man, you know. It tastes more like a musketeer. You no, know, musketeer is caramel with nothing in the middle, you know what I'm saying. I like a candy with got, like, some peanuts in the middle, just some. Regular nuts, some almonds, or something in the middle, man. That's the only letdown about that candy. It's just they ain't got enough. They ain't got nothing in the middle too much, man, you know. But it's good. But I prefer some peanuts or some almonds or something in the middle of the candy. Just plain old caramel, you know. This, uh, just something to go down in your, in your cavity and start your teeth there. And that's all. All right, moving on. Guys, I told you. About those uh, detailing products that you can get right out in Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a separate video on these. And here we go, man. Here's one of the, the brushes I picked up here. Nice soft bristle brush. You probably can use this to clean up your rims or something. Reach behind stuff like that. You no know, clean stuff. Like that. Nice little cool brush. Made by Brillo. Brillo Basics. Brillo makes pretty good brushes. Shut up. And you big, cool old little detailing brush, man. You got buy all those fancy brushes and stuff. And here's another one here. You could take this and um, what this is here, but whatever. Take that, clean around you, your little nuts or something like that. Go around there. Keep from trying to get up in there with a rag and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the bristles not that hard. It won't scratch nothing too much. And um, yo, good little old detailing brush you can get. But I ain't Dollar Tree, man. All right. Okay, moving on. I bought another one. It's almost the same type of brush as that one you saw there. This real a little bit more firmer. You could take this probably clean it. See, you probably could clean your you know, rims and tires or anything with this one. But the thing with this one, I want it because it's got a little small brush on the back. You probably can go around with your little nuts and stuff like that. And uh, this was just a regular Dollar Tree brush here. And I just had to scoop it up, man. All right, I'm going to take a, make a separate video about these in the next few minutes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed, man, my um, Dollar Tree haul. Guys, it's a little small one, man, you know, try to keep them, keep them up for you guys. Try to keep them coming in, man. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and your friends. And guys, uh, if, you, if you're new to my channel, man, don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button. Tell Y'all know, tell her what you might see up here. All right, 
Guys, take care. Get out the Dollar Tree. Pick up some of these goodies. And I'll see you guys on the next video, man. It's getting too long. See ya!